What's up, y'all? Good. How you doing, Jackson? Good, good, good. good. Chilling. So you haven't even gotten on the court for official practice yet, but just wondering thoughts on, on the other bigs in the lineup, like AD and Christian Wood and kind of your skill set, how you feel like that would be a fit uh, relative to what you did in New Orleans. Uh, I feel like all three of us are just very tall, athletic, uh, skilled bigs, uh, but we all kind of do our own thing a little different. Like I'm more a pick and roll big. Christian can definitely space the floor and shoot the ball out well. And then AD is just very well-rounded. So I feel like all three of us bring our own thing to the table. So. I'm really excited to get out here with this group. Uh, definitely like a more, a more, I'd say like more versed group at the big position I've normally been around. So I'm really excited about that. And as a quick follow up, uh, there were a lot of times in New Orleans where you could switch out in the perimeter as well and defend wings and guards. Uh, how comfortable are you with that? And, and how do you feel like that could add to a scheme on defense? Uh, I'm really, I'm really comfortable with that. Uh, I mean, Big 12 first team defense. Uh, I like playing defense. Uh, that's like something I really like to do. I, I mean, I don't mind switching on the guards. I don't mind having to guard the paint and block shots. So, I mean, I'm really cool with whatever I, whatever Coach Ham has for that game. We've talked about switching up for different games this year. And so we've already kind of talked about that some. Just, I mean, I'm just ready to do whatever he tells me to do. Hey, Jackson. Dan Wanky with the Los Angeles Times. Why the Lakers? What was it about this situation that, that you liked best for yourself? Um, Rob and Coach Ham had, I mean, they called me as soon as free agency started. Uh, they were telling me they wanted another big to complement with AD, and they were going to bring in two more bigs, and uh, they wanted me to be one of those bigs. And they felt that their guards and me would be really well in the pick and roll, and so I, I agreed with that, and I also I agreed with how I feel like I could have fit their system and how I can fit their system this year. So I felt like that was kind of the biggest tolls to me coming here. Have you have you seen some of that in, in workouts and stuff like that? Just some of the the working with, uh, the, yeah, and pick and roll and something. I mean, like, like that. we we have mini camp. Uh, we were playing like pickup and stuff. So I'm definitely able to see that a little bit and just get used to playing with these guys and uh, definitely loving the way this team runs and plays. Hey Jackson, um, as, as someone who grew up in Ohio watching LeBron, how how excited are you uh, to be teammates with him? And have you envisioned that first lob at all? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I've definitely been very excited about this. Uh, I mean, grew up in like second grade, first grade, driving up from Cincinnati to Cleveland like four hours to go catch a game, um, and now I'm on his team, so it's pretty exciting for sure. Uh, definitely haven't pictured a first lob yet, but I'm definitely excited to catch that first lob from him in game. Uh, but yeah, no, I just can't wait to get to work. Jackson, to your right, you mentioned LeBron's, uh, the camp that he hosts in San Diego. Just what's that like as a player uh, to go to that? And I guess what's really the focus in that, you know, couple days that you guys are down there? Uh, the focus is just really getting to, getting to know the new guys. Uh, all of us getting to know each other. I mean, a lot of us are new to this team this year. We have a lot of uh, young guys, too. And so uh, it was just more to, like, play, compete against each other, uh, see what everyone's all about playing-wise. So we just were hooping, and then after hoops, you just go eat dinner and get to know everyone real well. So, I mean, that was just kind of the whole point of that. Yeah, man. Uh, Jackson over here. Uh, with, with AD specifically, what do you feel like you can learn from him defensively, uh, with him being one of the best rim protectors in the league? And then also just how do you see yourself kind of complementing his game and kind of inside, outside? Uh, uh, definitely, I mean, got a lot to learn from him. Uh, obviously, I mean, I was in New Orleans right after he left. So, I mean, my first few years was watching him a ton of film on AD and just what he was doing for the Pels and just me trying to be able to do that for them. And then uh, we got a new coach, so we started switching everything. So, uh, I mean, I'm excited just to learn straight from the source itself now and uh, just kind of watch what he does and uh, learn how he just plays the paint really well. And, uh, yeah, I just can't wait. Jackson, uh, it's another Anthony question. He was in here earlier kind of talking about his responsibility as a leader. I was just wondering how has he – maybe helped you get acclimated here? Uh, I mean, this whole past week, uh, me and Christian have been getting in in the mornings and me, him, uh, me, Christian, and Ant all do our bigs workout together. So, I mean, he's just been kind of helping us get settled in that way and hanging out, taking us out to eat, inviting us over to his house. Uh, he's just been helping in a lot of ways, so which has been really blessed. Uh, Jackson right here. What's up, man? Good seeing you. Yeah. Um, you're only 23 years old. I don't think people honestly realize that. How do you feel like your game has grown, you know, since you first got into the league? And then also, how do you feel like you're going to help this team as far as pace? You're really good at running the floor. You know, um, how do you feel like you're going to help in those ways too? 
Uh, my game's definitely grown a lot since I got in the league. I was, I mean, 18 coming in the league, so I definitely had to learn a lot. And uh, I mean, I feel like I'm a lot smarter player. A lot, I can read the game a lot better. And uh, and then I feel like I can help this team a ton just with my pace, because I mean, obviously we have a few older guys, and so I feel like if I when I come in and uh, when I'm in the game, I can just kind of speed up that pace and give the team a little spark it needs whenever like we could be running a little slow or something. Uh, follow up on that. Uh, right here. Uh, the team's weakness, one of the team's weaknesses last year was transition defense. How can you help in that way? I feel like I can help with that a lot because, I mean, like I said, I'm a big defensive guy and I like to run. And so I'm going to make sure I get back on defense every time. And uh, I mean, I remember playing the Lakers last year and that was a big, big key for us. Like it was attack their transi transition defense. And so I want to just make sure I can help with that and just getting back and settling up in the paint. So, I mean, people aren't just getting like fast break uh, layups and stuff like that. We're good. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good one.